Hey everybody, it's Ebony here coming at you guys with a favorites video. Now you know, I don't usually do favorite videos like May favorites, April favorites. I don't do that because, I don't know, I just can't you know, commit to doing that. So anyway, I'm going to do a favorites of the moment. I, I, maybe I'll call it May favorites or I'll just call it my favorites right now. I don't know. So let's just get started, okay? And I'm going to start with face products first. Um, you know it's starting to heat up. You know it's starting to heat up, so... I'm not wearing a whole bunch on my face, or at least I don't want to, especially just on GP if I'm at home or whatever, or just kind of moving around town. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. And this one is in Mocha, the darkest color they have. Now, for those of you who don't know, a Tinted Moisturizer is not a foundation. It is not a foundation. It is a moisturizer with a tint of color in it, okay, to help to even out your skin tone as you moisturize. It's not a foundation, so you don't use a big old glob of it trying to get coverage. If that's the case, please just use a foundation. You only need enough to moisturize your face, okay, just to get it to help, you know, with even you out. Just a little taste, and it's not even hardly that much, but a little taste, um, depending on the brand. It depends on how much coverage you get with the tinted moisturizer. But it's really not a foundation, okay? So, what I do is I use the tinted moisturizer and then I go on top of it with this Studio Fix powder. And this one is in... So I've been using my Studio Fix powder and I used it last summer. Um, as well, okay. I also am loving this Milani pressed powder. So this color is in Ginger, and it is the perfect corrective powder for me. Um, a lot of times, I have a lot of foundations that are have too much yellow in them, and so they don't actually, you know, I mean, they don't complement they don't complement the bottom half of my face because I have hyperpigmentation which is really a blue undertone here so the blue and the yellow make green and it makes it look ashy and gross if you have the wrong foundation or wrong powder on top of this hyperpigmentation area alright so this is perfect what I do is I do my whole little routine with my with my foundation or my powder or whatever I'm using at the moment and then I just go on the bottom half of my face with this and I take some up here as well just to kind of balance it out so this is a really good powder. Love it. I got it for a dollar at my 99 cent store. They have a bunch of Milani stuff right now, and I went bonkers. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they got Milani at the 99 cent store. And this is not 99 cent only. These are these little mom and pop 99 cent stores that for some reason are able to get all this awesome stuff and sell it for a dollar. Just goes to show just whatever how much we're really overpaying for things, right? So anyway, another item that I'm loving right now and have been using like crazy is this MSF in Sun Power. Sun Power. And uh, this is part of, I don't know what collection for MAC, but it was a couple of collections ago, I believe. And this is just absolutely gorgeous as a blush. I love it as a blush. It's so soft and easy. I have it on right now, okay? Um, it's just soft and easy, and I love it. I love it. I've been wearing it every day. I have not put on any other blush. This has just been the one, okay? So Sun Power by MAC. Um, what else? And for a highlight, I fell in love with these Milani Glimmer Stripes. Um, and this one is in Terra Glimmer. All right, and this is the perfect combination of colors. I love it because it has like some pink, orange. So, of course, that makes a coral color, right? And then some really golden. It's just the perfect amount of shimmer. It gives you just the right amount. I have it on now as well. Just the right amount. Got that for a dollar as well. Um, this here, Inglot Concealer. All right, um, this is a love. I've had this for six months now or close to six months now of course I use it with my um, elf angle contour brush yeah da, 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 it's just it does it it does it it does it okay if you guys don't have this yet please go to Target or go on the website and get some of these because these are great 
right? So this is really good. The only downside to this is that the nozzle, it, it's, um, it spills out even with the, even with it. Alright. Now you guys have seen me use this NYX concealer a lot lately and this is a favorite of mine. Yes it is. This is the NYX orange concealer. Okay. It is a bit thick. Okay, so it's not exactly the best thing for under eye concealing. And the purpose for orange concealer is to help with hyperpigmentation, dark circles, and things like that. Okay, because orange neutralizes blue, which is really what's happening when you have dark circles or hyperpigmentation. The orange um, kind of neutralizes it, and then you can put your foundation or your concealer on top of it, and then you won't see the darkness anymore or as much. But this is kind of thick, so you have to thin it out maybe with a little moisturizer if you put it under your eye, I don't know, um, or use it sparingly because it's, it's, it's a serious concealer, it's thick. Um, so I use it primarily for uh, my under brow um, highlight. I like the way it looks, <laughs> okay, so I use it for that and then I may set it with an eyebrow, um, eyebrow, with an eyeshadow. But... I love this stuff, and I do use it on my face as well, okay? I'll put it around my mouth. I will use some under my eye, but I can't use a lot because it is thick, okay? But this is really, really good. This is sold on their website, or you can get it from eBay sellers. You can get it from PorkDaisy.com. You can get it from uh, BeautyJoint.com. Okay, so orange concealer. Get out! <laughs> I knew you were still there. That's why I was waiting. Like, I didn't see. Orange concealer was the last thing you said. Okay. What? All right. So for lips, I have been picking up the same couple of lipsticks very often, right? And that would be these two. This one here is Abu Dhabi and these are the NYX soft matte lip creams okay I have about five of them I think and these are the ones that I wear the most even though all of them are absolutely gorgeous I love them um, you do have to have moisturized lips when you wear them and if you're giving a presentation and you're wearing this I don't suggest wearing it by itself you must put a lip gloss on top of it. Yeah, it was better with a lip gloss, okay? So anyway, this is Monte Carlo, I'm sorry. Monte Carlo, I am wearing that now, uh, the Monte Carlo. I'm also using this L'Oreal lip color. It's in Turbulent. I use it on top of this lipstick, okay? And they make the perfect combination. Perfect combination, all right? So I've been wearing this as well, okay? I used to wear red lips a lot when I was younger. Like, that was all I wore. That was all I wore. All right, so those two matte lip creams. And then um, I'm also feeling the, I'm also loving the, co I'm also loving the Color Juice um, lip gloss. And I use this one a lot, Butterscotch Drop. All right, and I pair it with Abu Dhabi. Okay. So they make the perfect combination as well. I also use this with my orange lipsticks or whatever if I want to kind of tone it down, give a gloss and then just kind of soften up the lipstick. I use this with it. I have about five or six of these color juice um, lip glosses and I really really like them a lot. Okay. Alright so when it comes to the eyes, you guys know I have too many eyeshadows. Too many eyeshadows, and I'm expecting like two palettes from BH Cosmetics this week. I ordered two 120 palettes. My Facebook folks know how I feel about it. I'm just like, why? I couldn't resist it. But anyway, I'll do a review on those. Okay, I I, I had to buy them. I just I, I wanted them. Anyway, so um, you guys know about Magnolia makeup. I just did a review on them. That green, that spring green look I did was from with using Magnolia Makeup. And um, I have about 28 of their pigments. I plan on getting some more because I really honestly just want to have every color they have. So I plan on ordering again from them. Um, even if I don't need the colors, I just want to, I just want them all and I want to support them. So yes, I am using these two pigments more 
than anything almost every day okay seriously um, and the reason why this one is called pudding okay and that's what it looks like it's a reddish brown this is like one of my favorite colors of all time okay of all I just I gotta have this is the kind of brown that I need in my life every day so I use it in my crease for any look that I wear I use this in my crease it's in my crease now okay along with something else but it is in my crease now it is the perfect bridge color I love using it right in here okay I love it that's pudding okay another one for Magnolia makeup that I wear almost every day is caramel and that's the color of it right there and as you can see it is my skin tone or almost exactly like my skin tone and so what it does is it buffs out any harsh lines that I may have going on it softens up any edge that I have going on it just works as a beautiful bridge color between the highlight and whatever you have going in your crease caramel gorgeous so those are the eyeshadows that I've been reaching for a lot alright another thing that I love is this Revlon okay. Is this Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive? This Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. Love this a lot, you guys. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I love that it has a little wand, and it's not as messy as some of the other ones. And you know, I'm not loyal to Duo and all that stuff. I, you know, if it works, it works. If you like Duo, and that's you know, you're loyal to do Duo, and you know, because it's so popular, everybody feels like they have to have duo. Nothing can be duo, but okay, that's fine. But this works just fine for those of you who are not loyal to certain brands, okay? Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to rush through this. I know it's taking me forever. But this right here, Inglot's Eyeliner Gel. This is in matte black, in number 77. Let me tell y'all something. This is hands down the best gel eyeliner I have used yet. Now, I have not used them all. I haven't used every single brand out there. I don't plan to use every single brand out there, okay? But for 12 bucks, yeah, okay? I'm not paying more than $12 for an eyeliner anyway. That's, that's still kind of like steep for me, $12 for a gel liner. You know, when I can get them for 6 I can get them for $3. Uh, Wet n' Wild has one, whatever. But it's better than the Wet n' Wild one. It's better than the gel liners that I get that I have, okay? Love it. It glides on beautifully. It's just, ooh, the best glide out there. I'm sorry. It's just the best gliding eyeliner. I love it. Love it. Okay. Um, what else? What else? I'm trying to hurry. Okay, another eyeliner that is a favorite of mine and will be for quite a, lo a long, long time is Milani Liquify Liners. If you guys don't know about these, please know. Please know that these are really, really, really good, okay? They are oh, so creamy, okay? That's what, look how dark that is. And it sets, let me give it a little while, a few seconds or whatever, a minute, and it sets and it does not move. It does not move, okay? I have them in, in all the colors that they come in. Love this. I've had, I've been actually using these for quite some time. This is my second one, okay? So I've been using these, and I love them, okay? These are also everyday items. I already talked about that. This is my e.l.f. Contour Brush. Love it. Concealer. Okay. And then the Sonya Kashuk Brushes. Now, some of you guys wanted me to follow up with you on, on whether or not I love them, and I do. I use them almost every day. Okay. And these two I use almost every day. This one I use every day. Okay. For sure I use this one every day. And I love it. You know, I don't use any fluffy brush like this every day. You know, I have quite a bit. But it is just the perfect. You know what? Where is pudding? Because I need to fix something. I see something I want to fix. It is just the perfect. It just does it for me. Okay? It just does it. Every day. Uh, I think that's it. 
I think that is all of my favorites right now. I've been using this too, you guys. This is a lash applicator, and I got this from Walmart. And it's called Salon Perfect. Okay, you might have saw me use it in one of my videos recently. But what you do is you sit your lash in there, put the glue on it, let it dry for a few seconds, and then you just place it here. Okay, and it gives you really good placement however you still have to go in with your fingers or some tweezers and push each side in okay it does not just do this put it on your eyelash and then you're done it doesn't do that you still have to fit the corners in where they need to be okay so you know this is not a magic wand so that's it those are things that I have been using quite often of course I use other things of course I have other products that I use, but these are things that I've been reaching for quite a bit that just really stand out, all right? And um, I don't know, maybe you're interested in some of the products, maybe not, but thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, if you're curious about this hair, I got this from ElevateStyles.com. This is from the Vela Vela collection, and it's by Sensual, okay? This is the Jerry Curl wig. It's a lace wig and it's called Lace Jerry Curl. All right. And it's a 1B33. I do have a video. I do have a video on it. So if you're interested, I put the link below or put it somewhere up here. All right. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.